Emmanuel Sanders with, with a uh, Achilles injury. How extensive is that injury to Emmanuel? We're not sure. He's having an MRI in the next hour, so we will know more. It, it, it didn't look good. Does it feel like a punch in the front? It does not. It does not. The next man up, we're going to move on. Absolutely. Coach, why, why didn't it look good? Just the way he went down. That's all. Yeah, he was having a fabulous season. That's a huge blow to the Broncos. And, you know, I think, you know, Cortland Sutton now is going to have to step up and be the number one receiver. It's obviously going to tighten up, you know, some uh, eight-man boxes versus that run game, you know, without Emmanuel. So, uh, again, big blow. And, you know, yeah. we'll see, you know, how they respond. I'm not done yet. I felt good out there. I'm happy to be back. Well, at least back in what I'm doing. You know, eventually I'm, I'm looking forward to continuously, gradually, um, you know, seven on seven, the team, uh, hopefully one on ones, and um, hopefully in, you know, two or three weeks here, I'll be full speed and full go all the way around. Go with the end around this time as Sanders makes the first man miss, cuts back, and takes it all the way down near the 10 yard line. And that is good to see out of the 10 year veteran coming off the injury. Come out. Here we go. Stretch left, come out. Now he's got a defined read. He's got someone short, intermediate, and deep. And right now he knows are you open? Are number two open? Is number three open? That's what he means when he talks about third and 14. Flacco going to wind it up. Looking downfield and into the hands of Emmanuel Sanders. Flag is down, but the crowd is roaring with Sanders' return. It felt, it felt amazing, you know, through the whole process of uh, of going through the whole rehab and having two surgeries in the offseason to come back and play in the preseason when nobody even thought I was going to be back in the regular season. Just amazing. And so glory to God, you know, uh, all the hard work and all the pain that I went through, man, it was definitely worth it. And he does so to Emmanuel Sanders, who has worked his way back after suffering a torn Achilles last year. Um, you know, when the, when the regular season comes, we're not going to be at our peak, but it's all about getting better and continuously trying to climb uh, to reach that level, that playoff level, that Super Bowl level. And so I'm looking forward to doing that with Joe. Flacco will take a shot, got a man. There's the explosive Emmanuel Sanders. And that's just the play the Broncos needed. Quick toss, Sanders, touchdown, and there you go. First down, play action, and the pass caught in the year back in action as a coach. And the pass on the out, complete again. They've gone to Emmanuel down and 10. Freeman now is the running back. And the pass up the middle, and it's caught. And a beautiful catch by Emmanuel Sanders. 
from the 49 first down and Flacco completes the pass to say body in front of the DB first and goal at the seven Flacco into the end zone Sanders is there touchdown Denver it's the Bears another chance for Denver 13 to 12 they need the two-point conversion and they get it to Emmanuel Sanders and the Broncos lead it Emmanuel Sanders from the Broncos to the Niners. Give me the details. All right, so it's going to be Sanders in a fifth-round pick going from Denver to San Francisco in exchange for a third and fourth-round pick going back to Denver here. So the Broncos pick up some draft capital in exchange for a guy who, you know, he's still producing, but he's on the back end of his career for sure uh, as the Broncos try to reload here and get some talent down the line and try and – I don't know what's the word. Rebuild. I'm trying not to say the R word, but that's frankly what's going it. on there in Denver. Yeah, I'm saying it. Uh, and, and John Lynch and uh, John Elway, buddies for a while, they complete a trade. Uh, San Francisco was also in on Mohamed Sanu, so yeah. here they get uh, another veteran wide receiver instead. Any, anytime you break up uh, or you leave, you leave a place, it's tough. You know, we had definitely had a great run out here in Denver. Uh, had a lot of great times, but... No, obviously, you know, uh, all good things come to an end. So I'm looking forward to getting out to San Fran and showcasing my talent and, um, you know, uh, meeting the guys and um, hopefully, you know, adding, you know, my explosiveness and, um, you know, my capabilities to our system and, you know, and trying to trying to win. It seems like an ideal landing spot for you, no? Yeah, and we kind of run a similar offense. And uh, just talking to, you know, Rich, uh, he was pretty much telling me that it's the same. Same offense, different concepts, but I'll be able to pick it up easy. So I'm um, waiting for them to call me right now, um, you know, see uh, when I'm going to get out there and get my physical and, you know, get acclimated with the, with the system. I thought it was a good trade, kind of like the New England trade. You get a veteran guy, a guy who understands how to run routes, how to get open, how to make plays when he does have the ball in his hand. But I like this trade a lot because of his relationship with his previous now offensive coordinator, Rich Gangello. Someone like Emmanuel Sanders, who, again, as you've alluded to, who's going to be where he needs to be as far as route running in depth, who's going to be able to come in and impact making plays on the ball, being impactful, explosive, he's going to add to that learning curve and growing curve of Jimmy Garoppolo, a young quarterback. What he brings to that locker room as far as experience and leadership is almost as important as what he brings on the field. I know the 49ers guys very well. They're super thrilled about what he brings off the field in addition to what's on the field. And he's one of those characters, I feel like, that doesn't get enough spotlight because he plays in Denver and they're not looked at in a certain way, but now he's going to an undefeated team in the NFC and hopefully he gets a little more light. So Niners newest receiver in Emmanuel Sanders. First things first. Welcome to the Bay. Thank you. Thank you. They have the saying, you look good, you feel good, you play good. This weekend, that's the motto this weekend. You guys are wearing the all whites yeah. against the Carolina Panthers. Has anyone given you a, like a rundown yeah, of this they uniform? they just told me, you, you lucky, man. First game, you come <laughs> back, you in all white. So I'm looking forward to it. The all white to be smooth, you know, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you out on the field this Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with us here at 49er Studios. I know you got a lot of studying to do, yeah. so we're going to let you have get back at it. All right, thank you. Kayla's in the building. Alright, already the show goes on all night. Till uh, the morning we dream so long. Anybody ever wonder when they would see the sun? Just remember when it comes to the show. Up, I just laugh, put my kicks up on they desk, unaffected by they threats, then get busy on they ass, see that's how that shit tell me, man, that's how my daddy raised me, that glittering may not be gold, don't let nobody play, man, if you are my homeboy, you never have to
the pavement Go on and put your hands up When times is hard, you stand up Oh, you be the man Cause a brand that the fans trust So even if they ban us They'll never slow my plans up For the father that's there Three in the air For the kids in the ghetto Four for the kids That don't wanna be there None for the niggas Trying to hold him back Five in the air For the teachers Not scared to tell those kids That's living in the ghetto That the niggas holding back That the world is theirs Yeah, yeah, the world is yours I was once that little boy Terrified of the world Now I'm on a world tour I will give up everything Even start a world war For these ghetto girls and boys I'm rapping around the world for Africa to New York Haiti then I detour Oakland out to Oakland Got some Brand new show Blitz. They come with it. Garoppolo. Firing deep. He's got a man wide open. Sanders has it. Inside the 25. What you been through, no matter what you into, no matter what you see, when you look outside your window, brown grass or green grass, picket fence or barbed wire, never ever put them down, you just lift your arms higher, raise them to your arms higher, let them know you there, that you struggling, surviving, that you gon' persevere, yeah, ain't nobody leaving, nobody going home, even if they turn the lights out, the show is going on, all right. No, you know, this is a blessing. To be right here, this is a blessing. You know, I've been here twice. Uh, and I told the guys, I said, I'm looking forward to Dion walking up because as many times when I was out there working hard, I said, I want to get on this podium again and have Dion walk up and interview. And I know that it don't, it don't happen. It don't happen easy. And I understand that, you know, I went through a lot. You know, Achilles, uh, tightrope surgery on my right ankle. To be on this stage with you, I know, man, that God got my back. And I know that, you know, this is a blessing and it don't come off.